the programming, which is, as I understand it, Mike and Molly, starring <laughs> Melissa McCarthy and a man. Uh, my name is John Oliver, and I would like to talk to you for a few minutes about FIFA, and more specifically, Jack Warner. Now, last week he spoke to you on this very channel and promised, slash threatened, to reveal large amounts of incriminating FIFA documents. Uh, and since his preferred mode of communication is evidently purchased time on Trinidad's TV6, I have bought this time in the hope that he is watching. Uh, furthermore, I've actually Googled uh, some Trinidadian slang to help me get <laughs> my message across. So, um, <clears throat> family, watch me for a minute now. <laughs> What's the scene? I know you're getting to banker right now. <laughs> I'll just pause for a second to allow the people of Trinidad to laugh at the whitest person who has ever lived. <laughs> Attempting to speak Trini and instead sounding real doltish ent. <laughs> but I, I. <laughs> the, the point is, the point is, let's put that aside, Trinidad. But I. The, the point is, Mr. Warner, do not blue ball the entire planet by promising spectacular FIFA revelations and not delivering. I am begging you, release everything. Because here's my argument. Why the hell not? <laughs> it's not like you're not already potentially in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Seriously, I have been looking through the indictment and good luck with that. <laughs> Plus, apparently your sons are already cooperating with US authorities, so if you don't, it's just going to be awkward. <laughs> and finally, and I'll be honest, this is my main reason, I'm pretty sure you have some absolutely hilarious examples of FIFA corruption. Just look at your former colleague, Chuck Blazer. <laughs> Since he turned informant for the FBI, we found out that he had an apartment in Trump Tower for the use of his cats. For the use of his cats! <laughs> we, we also discovered his love of Halloween costumes. Because he, those are real photos. <laughs> because he was mistakenly thinking that these photos are more frightening to look at than this, a photo of the regular Chuck Blazer. I have no, no doubt, Mr. Warner, that you know as many delicious secrets as he does. And you owe it to the, the whole world to tell us. Why should you do it? Well, put it this way, right now, Jack. Everybody hates you. Everybody, I mean literally everybody. I, I think it's something to do with you seeming like an absolutely terrible human being. But, but, but. If you turn on FIFA, do not underestimate how much people might be willing to forgive. And if one day you end up in jail and you're staring up at the ceiling, wouldn't you feel better to know that you took down some people with you? It's like, it's like, they, it's like they say, snitches get smooches. That's what they say. That's the phrase. That's the phrase. So please, release the documents, Mr. Warner, and you may yet salvage your completely tattered reputation. And sure... FIFA's goons might come for you, but as you say in Trinidad, <laughs> don't hurt your head! <laughs> Which I believe means don't worry about it. <laughs> for once in your life, Mr. Warner, don't think about yourself. Think about everyone else. Thank you for your time, Trinidad. I now return you to Mike and Molly. <laughs> uh, I believe this week's episode is called Melissa McCarthy Still Can't Get Out of Her CBS Contract. <laughs> so... So I simply say this to all of you, goodbye Trinidad and of course, Tobago.